courtroom of Justice Emekangwite is quite a busy one today. Judging from the number of celebrated cases he will handle, one of such is the arraignment of the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Ben. <laughs> Justice Nguite had on April 17th ordered the immediate arrest of the former governor for arraignment before him. That, however, did not happen as the governor was nowhere in sight. At the hearing, ESCC's counsel, Kemi Pinero, stated that Yehaya Bello's absence for arraignment was due to someone with immunity shielding him and removing him from his home. Pinero emphasized that immunity applies to individuals and not locations, and hinted at military assistance if needed to bring Bellu for arraignment. In response, Yahaya Bellu's counsel, Abdul Wahab Muhammad, cited a court order preventing EFCC from arresting or arraigning Bellu, part of a fundamental rights suit where EFCC was involved and has appealed. Mohammed argued that EFCC's actions were unconstitutional and beyond the court's jurisdiction, noting that Bello isn't fleeing but under court protection. EFCC's counsel disagreed, citing a cogested high court ruling ordering Bello's appearance for raiment. I've informed the court that by virtue of section 287 of the Constitution, all persons are obliged to obey the court order. The court order is for its production on the next adjourned date, and the state will ensure that it's produced in court. Section 12 of AJA also allows a law enforcement agent to break down any premises where a defendant may be hiding. And so the state will invoke all its powers within the law to ensure that it's produced in court for the purpose of arraignment and it's in his own interest. So he can come and plead his innocence or his, he can take his plea as to whatever he wants to say. After listening to both parties, Justice Emekangwite adjourned the case to April 23rd for ruling on substituted service and possible arraignment of Yahaya Bello. Emanuela Ekele, Channels Television News.